the book of Acts. Chapter 1 verse 9. And it reads. And when he had spoken these things. While they beheld. He was taken up. And a cloud received him. Out of their sight. Verse 10. And while they look steadfastly. Towards the heaven. As he went up. Behold. Two men stood by them. In white apparel. Verse 11. Which also said. Ye men of Galilee. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So family, you can see from the precepts, the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 11. As Yahweh Shai has been beamed up into the cloud, the so-called UFO, the chariot of Israel. The apostles looked up, eh? gazing, looking up. And lo and behold, the, the angel, two angels stood beside them. And the angel opened their mouth and said to the apostles, what? They are, he said to the apostles, the same Yahweh Shai. Let's, let's read that part again. Acts chapter 1, straight to the point. And verse 10 says, And while they look steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men, those are the angel family, stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, speaking to the apostles, Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? What is going on? What are you looking up? What, what, are, you, what, what are you worried about? It says here. Just paraphrasing. So family, it says here. This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Family, this UFO sighting is killing these nations. I just did a lesson on UFO, so-called UFOs, two, three days ago, family, and another article today. They are extremely worried. But family, we know that the angels are already here. These are the times that we are living in. We are very, family, we are very close. That's why it says, the just shall live by faith. Habakkuk chapter Chapter 2, it says the just shall live by faith. Family, you got to have the faith to believe that those, those clouds are the Lord's chariots. These nations are very worried. First and foremost, let's give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokar Kodash. We thank him for another day, family. The prophecies are jumping off the pages. And family, we are not stopping until he make Jerusalem a praise once again. He says, now that we have returned, family, we should seek him ten times more. Pursuing to Baruch chapter 4. We are not stopping. We were, at one point, we were lost in this world. Right, eh, family? But now that we have returned, to our father the peace that we have found family 
Nothing can touch us. Oh no. Nothing can touch us. Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk chapter 2. Where is it? It says, but the just shall live. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Listen to this. But the just shall live by faith, by his faith. Family, this is all faith. And the Lord says, if you don't have faith, you can please the Lord. We go to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 11. Make, makes it clear, family. You got to have faith. Like I said, if you don't have faith, you got to pray that the Lord will increase your faith, especially the time that we are living in. Because things are about to get, oh, it's about to get real. It said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right? We are hoping for the kingdom of heaven. That is faith, family. And the evidence of things not seen. We haven't seen it. But we believe that is faith. We believe that the heaven is coming. We believe that Yahweh is coming. The angels were there when the apostles were looking up, seeing Yahweh being beamed up into the chariot. And the angels said, the same Yahweh Shai that is going up into the clouds. The same Yahweh Shai is coming with the clouds. And family, we proved it. We brought Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. That's why it says here in verse 6, says, but without faith, listen to this family, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high, Yahweh, must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Let me repeat that again. It says here, but without faith, let me slow it down. It is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Family here. By faith, Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet. Moved with fear, prepared, prepared an ark to the savings of his household, by the which he condemned the world and beca became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Noah, the Lord told him, I'm going to destroy the earth with water. Hmm? People were partying, giving in marriages, didn't care. He preached for 100 years before the flood came. But Noah with faith built the ark. And he ended up saving his household. Family, there's nothing new under the sun. The same thing is happening today. As we continue to bring this word out. Warning you. The Lord has given us this gift. This hope. We constantly, day in and day out, the word is coming out. All through the power of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son. It's not our will, family. It's the will of the Lord. He's the one that put the breath in us. He's the one that gave us this. We are not boastful. We are not proud. No. We serve you with the heart of humility to warn you. This is the gift. This is going to lead you into, into glory, salvation. It says here, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And by faith, Noah being warned of the Most High. Family, Noah preached and preached and preached and preached and warned the people at that time. And only what? A remnant was saved. Only his household. Think about that. Only his household. Because everybody, what? Ah, what are you doing? You've lost your mind. What are you doing, man? This place is going to go on forever. Oh, no. That's right. He built the ark. He warned the people. The Lord is not going to destroy this planet without warning us. Oh, no, no, no. He's going to give us the warning. The elect, they're going to get it. The two tests are not going to get it. Family, let's get into it. As you can see, Russia... These nations are extremely worried. 
about this UFO sightings. Family, those are the Lord's chariot. They are everywhere now. This is the time that we are living in. We are very, very, very close. It says, Russia's space chief speaks out on UFOs. Aliens might study humans from afar like bacteria. The head of the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, said. The chief of the Russia space agency, Dmitry Rogozin, has said that he believes in the existence of extraterrestrial life that might be more intelligent and technologically advanced than humanity. Aliens might also be studying the civilization of Earth while staying unnoticed, he told Russia, Russia 24 broadcaster on Saturday. Thousands of factors could have contributed to the emergence of life anywhere in the universe. Rogozan said, adding that humanity's ability to study space remains limited. We know the Big Bang theory, but what if this Big Bang took place only within a certain part of the universe that is visible to us? Big Bang, Big, Big Bang, oh, I can't even say it. Big Bang theory. Yeah, we all came from monkeys and yeah, no, family, we are here to tell you. The book says what? Let's get it. Let's bring it. Please him. So the Lord reveals. One second. Reveals. I can't remember where I found it. Reveal. His secret. To his prophet. Let's go to the book of oh, Amos 3.7. Amos. Amos. Amos 3, verse 7. It says here, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. They will never understand this book. Because why? This book was never given to them. This is the history of the Israelites. That's why they are so confused, family. They can't figure this one out. They can never figure this, out, this one out. That's why the Lord says what? The wisdom of this world, the wisdom, their universities, their PhD, whatever they teach them in these institutions, eh? this Ivy League university, the Lord is saying that it is foolishness to him. Are you listening to this family? The Lord is saying these technology, everything that they have, the, all the knowledge, that the Lord says, the wisdom of this world, it is foolishness to the Musa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. They can never figure this one out. They are extremely worried about the sighting of this so-called UFOs. But we know through the Spirit, God is faith, family. These are the law. These are our future mode of transportation because the lord says in isaiah 4 5 every dwelling place is going to have a cloud this is the mode of transportation that's why in the book of wisdom of solomon chapter 5 it says the strangeness of his salvation is going to be far beyond everything that they've wished for because family this passover the one coming the final one Family, we are not walking on our... F no, we are not walking through the wilderness. No, we're going to be beamed up. And our, our enemies' eyes shall behold us going into those chariots. Yes, they're going to see it. And that is when faith... That's where faith comes in. Let's go back again. Let's go to the book of Hebrew. So you know where... Let's go to the book of Hebrew. Hebrew 11, 6. Hebrew 11, verse 6. It said, but without faith... Family, again, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe. You have to believe. Family, you can't have that. That's what I keep saying. Family, I don't have plan B. All my eggs are in one basket. It's on our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Family, if Yahweh Shai doesn't come, that's it for me. I am done. But I have faith that my king and my eyes shall behold, Lord willing, my eyes shall behold the king of Israel, Yahweh Shai. And that's my faith. And family, we don't have it. 
You continue to pray and fast that the Lord will increase your faith. Because he says he give it liberally. But you got to trust. That's why the book of James says what? You can't have any doubt. Let, let, let's, let's see if I can find it. What was it? Um... Oh, Black Ataya Hawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai Bahashem Lukakodash. Here, I didn't even know where it was, but family, the Spirit led me straight to it. This is the Spirit. It says here, if any of you, James chapter 1, verse 5, it says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High that give it to all men liberally and unbreathe it not, and it shall be given him. Verse 6, it says here, but let him ask in faith. Are you listening to this family? You got to have the faith to ask. You can't have, be double-minded. Let's continue. It says, but let him ask in faith. Nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven from the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. It says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You listening to this family? That's why I said my eggs are in one basket. My trust is in the Lord. And I hope your trust is in the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's our Redeemer. Family, look at the knowledge that we have acquired. The Lord knowledge that He allowed us to acquire in these last days, telling us what is happening. And we are seeing the things. Slowly coming to fruition. Food shortages. Gas price inflation. Rumors of war. And civil war coming. And race, race war and class war is all coming. This is the blessing that we... Family, we are blessed beyond blessed. The fact that our, our kingdom is coming right after this one goes down. Family, that is all faith. You got to have faith to believe in your power. Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's the only way you got to have faith to trust and believe that he is. Family, the nations are extremely worried. They have no idea what is coming. Family, they are paying people billions and billions of dollars to study this thing here. But the Lord has revealed it to his servants, the prophet. This family, we are blessed. I don't want this lesson to be long, but family, we're going to fly through the headline news quickly. And, um, and then uh, we're going to wrap it up. And then I have another video that I want to share with you from Full Spectrum. But let's go through quickly. Let's go through the headline news. Um, that is today. Let's go here. So here. It's the first one. Ukraine to get heavy German arms on symbolic date. Kiev will get heavy arms from Germany on the day when the Nazis attack the USSR. According to Ukrainian ambassador Andrei Melnik. The Third World War is coming. It's coming. They have, they have nothing to do. You can't control it because this word, this is the what the Lord wrote in his in his script. This is part of his movie. Yes, it is come the war of Armageddon. It is gonna come. We know that yesterday Israel attacked um, Israeli airport. Sorry, no Syrian airport. Um, and Russia was extremely. Russia came up with a strong statement condemning it. So things are leading up to the Third World War. It's just a matter of time. So this should give you hope that your Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, is coming. Family, your Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, the King of Israel, is coming. It says here, another news here. It's a one in six Germans skipping meals to save money. Another 13% fear having to endure occasional hunger as the cost of food increases. The survey found, family, this is not a third world country. This is a so-called developed world. This is Germany. Eh? This is Germany, family. The so-called developed world. Eh? Family, 
Family, the Redeemer of Israel is coming. The Lord has set a bound for this nation to rule. And yes, the end is here. The end is here. We are about to go home. Remember, we're just pilgrims on this planet. This place was not given to us. It tells you in the book of Job. Let's go so you know exactly what we're talking about here. Job. Job chapter... Job 9.24. It says here. Job 9.34. It says what? The earth. This here. The planet we're living on right now. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Eh? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The Edomite. The Lord gave them this time to rule. That's why it said it was given into the hands of the wicked. Have you seen anything good come out of these people? No. They've gone across the world destroying nations, family, cut trees down. And look at the food that we eat. Our food is full, 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 filled with GMOs. GMO food, that's all we have. And drugs every, in every corner, that's what they push. Blood, is, blood follow them everywhere they go. That's why this place is not our home, family. It was, not, it was never given to us. It was given into the hand of the wicked. So why are you trying so hard to fit in? This is not your rest. Back to Micah 2, 10. It says, it is polluted. And it shall destroy you. That's the reason why the Lord told us. Family, the Lord kept us. He protected us. Hmm? The elect, he protected us, family. Now that we know this truth here, family, they don't have any power over us anymore. Yahweh Shah himself said it. He said, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. He wasn't joking, family. Once the Lord opened your eyes and you see everything around you, you know that this place here is just everything is fake. Eh? They told you that you are black. They told you that you are Negro. They told you that you are Jamaican. They told you that you are Caribbean. They told you that you are Barbadian. They told you that from Trinidad. They told you, yes, only one people. We spread across all this nation. Eh? They took our identity. Eh? We have no history. We were just put on slave ship. That was it. From the moment we get, that's our history, family. That's right. But now you know the truth that you are the Hebrew Israelite of the book. You are free. You are free. Because you know that your Redeemer is coming to, what? Redeem you. That's why he's called the Redeemer. Yahweh Shai. He's the only one getting the credit. That's why Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, eh? All these so-called so-called black leaders. That's why none of them were able to save you, including your favorite Obama. No. Because they are not the Redeemer. The Redeemer is Yahweh Shai, the King of Israel. He's the one coming to get us out of this place. And it says, all eyes shall see him. He's coming in with the clouds. All the angels. You're going to look up and the entire sky is going to fill with so-called UFOs. Yeah? Those are the angels. And they are not UFOs. They are not these little green men. No, no, no. These green creatures. No. Angel. That's right. You're going to see them. They're coming for war. So this earth here was given into the hand of the wicked family. So now that you know the truth, mm -mm, separate yourself. Do what you got to do, but don't be part of their system. Why, do you, why are you voting? Why are you celebrating Christmas? You're celebrating Easter. Your birthday and all these stuff here. These are the customs of these nations. Did you see King David celebrating his birthday? And all of the prophets. And you were in the Bible. That tells you to celebrate these things here. Jeremiah told you in the book of Jeremiah 15. They cut trees and they decorate it. You know, these are the custom. They, it goes back to Babylon, the old ancient Babylon. It's not our customs. But we adopted it because why? The Lord spread us across this nation. And then what did we do? We became Gentiles. We followed their custom. We forgot our own, our heritage. Our heritage. But now the Lord has brought us back. The Lord has brought us back. He has called us back home. Now we are free. He said, you shall know the, the truth. Like our king said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So family here, one in six Germans skipping meals to save money. 
poll, another 15, sorry, another 13, 13% fear having to endure occasional hunger as the cost of food increases. The survey found it's only progress. It's going to get worse, family. It's going to get worse. Let's go back here. It's going to get worse. It's not getting any better. Yeah, it's not going to get any better. Because this is the lost movie. If this was happening in Africa, yeah, you would have been a speaker. Yeah, a third world war. I mean, third world country. Who cares? Or in the, anywhere in South America or the Caribbean family. You would have been accepted, right? But it's happening in Germany. This is the time that we are living in. How come this thing is not loading? Okay, so let's go to... Is it tyranny news? I saw... Yeah, so here, this is the new... Term. This is from tyranny news. As the unconstitutional government pushing for gun laws that brazenly contradict second amendment rights so family you tell me you tell me something let, let, let me run this by you so you've destroyed people's livelihood for the past three years you lock them down and and you systematically you know engineering food shortages and eh? engineering inflation because the lord asked you to do it and all of a sudden their last uh, form of defense their guns you want to take it away from them introducing con uh, 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 laws to take away their guns how do you think that's gonna go oh yes these people are ready for war the civil war is coming it's just a matter of time people are fed up this is what the uh, ezra saw second ezra said it ezra saw this he says yes men fighting against each other because of our lack of bread people are tired the past three years from 2019 to 2022, they feel like they've been hosed and they're going to take matters into their own hands. But this is all part of the movie. As the book of Daniel said, Daniel 12, 1 told us, yes, a time of trouble like no other. So this is what is coming. So these guys, they attempt to take away people's guns. No, it's not going to happen. They're going to fight. you. They're going to fight. They're going to push back and it's not going to be pretty. And we're praying that through it all, the Lord will keep us, protect us. And we have to continue to walk in the path that he has created for us. This is not the time to be playing with your life. Take heed. The time is short. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you got to gotta wake up. It's, this is the time to wake up. You got to wake up. Let's go to, uh, let's play a video of this. Uh, let's play, um, let's go to YouTube here. Let me go to, where is my, um, let's go quickly go to, let's play. Yeah, I don't want this video. I'm not I'm not benefiting financially from this video. This is a disclaimer, family. I'm just using it for edification and educational purposes only. It's a copyright uh, disclaimer, section one hundred seven. And <coughs> um, the fair fair art use fair fair use art whatever they call it. Okay, so we're gonna play a few minutes of this guy's uh, video full spectrum, and then we're gonna wrap it up. I just saw that video, the UFO video. It's these people are they can't sleep, family. Everywhere they turn, there's a UFO. They cannot sleep. But I'm here to tell you through the Spirit that your the Lord, your Redeemer, is coming. And is very close. So have no fear. Have no fear. Let's go. This is it. We have a bit of an emergency write-in from an individual who has worked in police, fire, EMS, and at the 911 circuit for a number of years. I'm going to only identify this individual as M. Greetings. I have never reached out before and I asked to remain anonymous. I have 30 plus years in public safety and never have I seen people having mental breakdowns before in this fashion. Constantly taking people for an ID or an involuntary detention for a mental health check at the closest facility. If there's no insurance, they just kick them loose. What is happening isn't even close, in my opinion, to the 2007 and 2008 financial crisis. Not only are people asleep, but this has every indication that it will make that event 
look like child's play. The following is sensitive and you may not choose to finish it and that is fine. My work, they say, is not for everyone. In the last week alone, we have had three jumpers. Overdoses are grow going through the roof, but many are them who that have uh, zero history in such behavior. So people are taking up uh, possible addictions or uh, possible drug use, and they're doing this as a coping mechanism. They simply don't know how to handle their life to come or even worse. They can't face their significant other, their children, their adult parents. It's gone. Repossessions are as I have never seen them. Check out Eviction Lab's website, and they only study a few states. Anyone who says you do clickbait, see what is happening with evictions. Read it for themselves. The most frightening thing is that when 911 or uh, when someone calls 911 or their calls come in and we send units out, and units ask for a history at this address, meaning, uh, you know, is there a history of domestic battery? Is there a history of threats? Is there a history of suicidal behavior? Is there a history of fighting with the police? Yeah, uh, th that type of thing, that's what they're looking for. The worst feeling is to answer that there is no history. Completely unknown situations are getting more and more violent. We are walking in blind. Alcohol use is up as a coping mechanism and either people can't afford therapy or they don't believe in it. Yes, we have had everything from someone walking straight out into an interstate traffic, usually in front of a heavy truck that can't stop, all the way down to petty crimes of uh, why did you park your, they say, POS car next to my Mercedes, then a fight starts and then damages happen. Perhaps the Mercedes wasn't even insured, they probably couldn't afford it. Road, uh, road rage is with people flashing real firearms and the callers following them. Uh, they are just so unhinged and they don't stop to think that they could be attacked, shot, or worse. Pets are being surrender, uh, surrendered, let loose, dumped at flooding uh, levels at our shelters because people cannot afford to feed them. People are moving. The book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 12. It says, and because iniquity shall abound. Iniquity simply means sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. It says here, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Out, they're getting locked up. They've left their anim uh, animals behind. We're seeing so many bad things. They continue. Sorry that this is long-winded, but I want you to know that I live and work in one of the l wealthiest counties in the Midwest. That's where we really tried to get through on this channel over the last couple of days, is that this is a uh, series of events that is happening in rural America, it's happening in big city America, it's happening in junky areas in America, and it's happening in what used to be pristine or upper class areas of the country. Crime is creeping in, theft from Target, Walmart, etc. when people would never do this before. Baby form uh, formula is being stolen, diapers, wipes, food. I'm talking about not TVs or expensive electronics or garbage like that. I mean, people are- Family, let's bring, let's bring a quick precept. I can, I have to, uh, let's follow the spirit. Family, let's go to the book of Ezra, chapter 15. Let's pick it up from, from 14. It says here, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and souls in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. Family, sedition is coming. These guys are, they, hey, they, family, they said when you have nothing to lose, you lose it all. Food shortages, formula shortages, people have babies that they cannot feed, and their governments continue to, you know, spend 40 billion, send 40 billion to Ukraine, right? Eh? Seems that the government that they put their trust in, the government is failing them. So family, it is all out war. Every man for himself. This is what is coming. This is what the, uh, Ezra saw. It says here, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and sword in their hands. Sword in their sword is what? Your gun, family. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. This is their president, their prime ministers, their leaders, their governors. They're not going to regard them. Okay, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. Okay, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Men shall be afraid. This is a men shall be afraid. Can you imagine what's going to happen to the women? This is what is coming, family. We need protection. 
you need to call upon your power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey? Pray fast, pray fast, and repeat it. That's what we are doing, especially the time that we are living in. Are desperate. They continue. Brad and Kelly and your supportive community, so that's each and every one of you, thank you so much for what you do. I'm sure the comment sections can be brutal. Ignore the haters. Karma awaits them. As for me, locked and loaded, stocked for years. Parents born in the Great Depression, and I learned from them. I'm not perfect, but I am as ready as I can be on my own. Thank you, and keep up the good fight. Keep your head on a swivel. Thanks for your time, M. Well, thanks for sending that in. Yeah, you are not alone in what you are seeing. And at the police level, the fire level, EMS, uh, the uh, attorney level, we're just watching it skyrocket across the country. You're right. Repossessions are up. Crime is up. Violent crime is up. People are following others home. This country is not what it was even just a couple of years ago. The safety is just not there. And then listen to the audacity of the U.S. Treasury Secretary here. Yellen says that it is amazing how pessimistic American households are. It's amazing how pessimistic you are. Why aren't you just happy out there in your debt that you have to pay uh, your grocery bill on a credit card? Why aren't you happy and buying a new phone? Why aren't you getting into that new car so that they can afford their private island? Why aren't you doing this? It's amazing that you are such a pessimist. What are you, a doomer? Get out there, get into a third mortgage, work that fourth job, and let's give back to America. This is corruption at the highest level. It's even past corruption, actually. It's onto delusion, dystopian delusion, and it really makes me mad. And I can't stand to see where this country is going, but I know that it's crumbling fast. And so I'm working hard with my family, with my friends, to make every step possible to get in the right direction for the near future so that as this house of cards falls we see an event that is coming and we're doing everything that we can to get ready for it you know in firefighting there's a term called a flashover a flashover takes place when every substance has reached a high enough temperature that it can near spontaneously ignite because of the fire around so it's releasing gases it's warping and that's what we're looking at in the united states of america right now and in our economy in the violent crime we're looking at that flash over point a time when new change is on the way the that's right a time when a new change is on the way that's prophecy Let's go to the book of Ezra, family. I have to, oh, I got to drop this. The book of Ezra, chapter 6. Second Ezra. Oof, that is just, that's beautiful, family. It says here, and he said unto me, Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 8, he says, And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac and Jacob and Esau. Sorry, let's repeat Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 8. Family, sometimes I get so excited about this word. I'm just stumbling on my words. Please forgive me. It says, Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Esau are the Edomites. Edom. This Edom, Esau was later on changed to Edom. That's why they are known as the Edomite, the so-called white people. Verse 9, this is the point. For Esau is the end of the world. That's right. This kingdom here is about to finish because the Lord gave it to them to rule for to, uh, within uh, to rule within a certain period. And the end has come. And it says here, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Family is going to happen in our, our lifetime. Lord willing. Again, let me repeat that. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Yahweh Shai, the king of Israel, is going to be ruling on this planet. Family, let's, let's hear a little bit of this and then we wrap it up. University of Michigan's consumer sentiment chart has fallen completely off the rails. Its absolute lowest rating ever has been met since reporting started in the year 19, in the 1950s, I believe it was 1952. Some Canadians are uh, being reported that if they took out mortgages in 2020 and 2021, they might see a monthly payment increase by as much as 
45% in the next couple of years. The Russian foreign minister is saying that cyber attacks on Russia are going to lead to direct military confrontation with the United States of America. Turkey's armed forces and Turkey-backed Syrian fighters have finished preparations and are now awaiting orders for that conflict to begin. Family, I gotta bring this precept, but let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes. Whew, gotta love this. It says here, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, family. Ecclesiastes, no, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the conclusion, family. It says here, fear the Most High, Yahweh, and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of men. Fear the Lord, family. Fear the Lord. Look at what he's doing to this kingdom. Nothing is working. All their infrastructures are collapsing right before their eyes. Hey? When the Lord said in the book of Daniel, Dan, you see, this, this, everything is right before in their eyes, but they can't see. The book of Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. When the Lord says this, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones. To the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. You think you are the one in charge? Hold up. You honestly think because you are the president or the prime minister or the king, you are the one in charge? No. Don't get it twisted. You are there because he put you there for a purpose. It says here. Again, let's read the whole chapter, the whole verse. It says, uh, Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. The bottom of the bottom. That's right. To rule over us. Fear the Lord. Because you become so proud with your technologies and everything else. Now you're saying that Yahweh Shah is fake news. The Bible is fake news. That you are actually going to make people live longer. Speaking proudly. Blaspheming the Lord's name. Oh, don't get it twisted. The Lord keeps scores. Why do you think you have his angels here? He says the Lord's eyes are 10 times, 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He have an angel in every corner. Every word that you say, you have to account for it. The day of judgment, you have to. That's why we fear the Lord. Don't just open your mouth and say anything that pops in your pointy head. You're going you're gonna to, the way you've ruled this kingdom here, oh yes, you're going to be judged. Oh yes, you're going to be judged. <laughs> if you only know what is coming. Yeah. Russia has told Turkey to back off. The United States of America has told Turkey to back off, but Turkey will not because this world war already started. And so the old diplomatic channels that used to keep things in order are no longer available. And people realize on a governmental, military, social level, citizen level, that life is not as it used to be. Redfin is saying that the median monthly asking price for rent in the United States of America for the first time ever has reached $2,000 per month. And yet the U.S. Treasury Secretary says that it's amazing how pessimistic you are. Highest rent ever. Biden says that he is calling on Congress to crack down on companies that have raised shipping prices by as much as 1,000%. Iran is informing the European trio, Russia and China, that we, Iran will not stand helpless in the face of any decision against Iran in the IAEA Board of Governors. The IMF's uh, Gobinath uh, says that it will be challenging to bring inflation back to Federal Reserve targets without extreme turbulence in the market and the world. Fox News White House correspondents are reporting that a White House official is saying they're tracking a shift in spending habits from the American people. They are no longer buying goods. They're now buying services. They believe that this shift will relieve pressure on supply chains, but it is leading to another problem.
the inflation system is done. You know, people are not buying tickets. They're, allowed, they're be allowing themselves to afford their Netflix monthly uh, commitment. They're not buying a new phone. They're getting Disney Plus so they can sit around the couch and watch shows with their kids. That might sound wholesome and it might sound like a good idea. And you're right, it is. Rather than buying a new phone, getting into a new car, whatever it might be, spending time with your family is a great idea, especially at a cheaper level, like a service that costs, what, seven, eight, nine dollars a month, whatever Disney Plus is or any of the other online services. And so that sounds good. Seems like that's a good direction for people to take, but this isn't what they wanted. This is out of near desperation. You see, they want to buy those new phones and they want to be a consumer for the rest of their lives and a slave to their servitude and the need to go to work. Two jobs, three jobs, but they just can't do it anymore. And so they're backing off. And so while this is good for the individual and certainly for their family, it's not good for the economy and it's going to rush in the next part of this economic crisis. China says that it strongly opposes all U.S. plans to arm Taiwan, but that's exactly what the United States of America is doing. Listen to what Yellen has had to say, the U.S. Treasury Secretary. It's unlikely that gasoline prices will fall anytime soon. Oil prices could go further. Uh, Yellen says that it's going to be challenging. The United States will face challenges, including unacceptable levels of inflation, headwinds from supply chain disruptions. Yellen continues. Family, we're going to end it there. We're going to end it there. Let's uh, finish up with uh, Ecclesiasticus. This book here, I tell you, family, it's nothing like it. We give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, our heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. It says here, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10, verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, Injuries and riches got by deceit. We know how they got this kingdom, family. It says the kingdom is translated from one people to another. What did I say again? Esau was the beginning, the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. You hear that? It says Ecclesiastes chapter 10. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another people. Now, let's go back to 2nd Ezra. Family, this is how beautiful this book is. Tip, uh, this, let's go 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see, the kingdom is translated from one people to to the other that's why we're here to lift up the name of our power yahweh and his only begotten son the one and only yahweh shai who went on the cross eh, for our sins so we can have this hope he is the intercessor to our father without yahweh shai family he is the gate without him we would have been lost but because of what he did for us, family, you and I, we have this hope. All praises, honor, glory to the king indeed, Yahweh Shai. And his only begotten, sorry, to Yah, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Shalom, beloved. Shalom.